it's all good, it's all up, it's all stuck. So we got the damn uh, Kia came in, one bag. We got some good ass tires. I'm talking about a bunch of dogs. Fresh rubber, my boy. Hey man, today is the same day I dropped that little video about my pops. I just had to, you know what I'm saying, drop me one more. Now, um, like I said, we got this Kia. Pause one, talk your shit, twin. Yeah, we got this Kia here, man. And long story short, the brakes is bad. Well, the front pad is gone all the way down to the right. All of the gristle is gone out the missile. You can see that before you took it off, honestly. Yeah. So long story short, man, we just gotta pop that book out. It ain't nothing, nothing major. Really, really, for real, for real. Oh, mm, perfect jacket. Shout out to my daddy. I use this tool bag. <laughs> this is my daddy's whole tool kit. Bro, that tool kit clutch. Yeah. Yeah. And then it got everything, and it's the big shit. All mm -hmm. the big black sockets. You know what I'm saying? I heard that from you and your dad, nigga. Yeah. You mess with that and heavy you notice, duty. You notice, like, for the strong shit, they use black. That's what I'm saying. I, like, I, okay, for instance, like, when wait. you when you want to make your bed, when you want to make your bed strong, they got the bed liner, that shit black. Yeah. It's for durability. For real. The Even the sockets. Yeah. They don't got no white sockets. <laughs> that goes back to what I was really saying, though, bro. I didn't get it all out, but you basically re-highlighted it. That's what I'm, like, I heard that from you and your dad only, like, them black sockets and stuff is the way to go when it come to heavy duty. Yep. You know what I'm saying? All right, gang. So on this, um, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to do it without having to bleed the brakes. Because I do got my, um, my witch and my googa. So mooga the baga booga the booga the. On the back side of the ooga ba dooga the. The ooga the ba da ba da dooga the. So we're going we gonna, to we gonna try to do it without bleeding the brakes. Now, Black was saying something about some pins. I'm not just 100% sure what he was talking about. I'm gonna try gonna to get that out. on camera for you. He say, uh, they came with the kit. Wait a minute. That's how I came up on it. Yeah. These boogers is really actually loose. You seen that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm not sure though, gang. He might need another a rotor because that's talking about file down. Oh, not just a new one. You can go take it to O'Reilly's and get them all uh, machined down. Some of them do it, some of them don't. Well, it's supposed to be smooth? Yeah. This is one way you can do it. Take it all off. Man. So basically what he didn't know about these little pieces there, because that's the only thing I can think about. So a lot of people probably get confused. Oh damn. This ain't even come with it. I thought he was actually talking about this bracket right here. Basically, gang, it's just a guide. You know what I'm saying? And it's the easiest way to do brakes. I'm talking about like. It should take you no longer than 15 minutes to do these brakes as long as you got all the tools. So basically, all you got to do, you don't have to take the whole caliper off, like taking the boat off from the back. That's how I used to do it, and I used to take more time, and I had to bleed it and all kind of crazy stuff. So now, you just pop the caliper right out of the Uga Duga, just like that. Match them up, make sure they right. It's the same thing, almost, let me see. Hey, y'all yeah, could be, exactly hey, look, the them boys can be getting free knowledge if they was your cameraman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bro, I sit here and get free knowledge, like, for real. Yeah, like, this just is like, exactly the same, so you just slap it on. You feel me? Slide that right on now. And do the same with the back one. The back one got a little cover on it. And pop that off to put on the new one. Oh, so it come with a cover? Mm-hmm. Sometimes it be a little hard. It shouldn't be, though. Man, I want the gang to see. I want. I want you. Uh, oh yeah, that was. I that want was them to see this uh, mosquito, bro. We killed it yesterday, man. All right, so make sure you get the same one. See, it's different. That's for the other side. This one here, exact same. And then it's gonna slide back in. Now you see how it didn't come with this back piece on it. Somebody just called you. They called and hung up. Oh, well, we ain't worrying about them. Oh, it do got a plate on it already. You see that? Yeah, I thought I saw it built in. Yeah, it got a plate on there already, so we ain't got to worry about using the old one. Turn that book around and slide it in just like that. Uh -huh. And that's how it simply is to put the brakes on. Now, I missed that slide in, but y'all I mean, it just it was out. easy, bro. Yeah. It just slide right in. So now, the only thing you got to worry about is pushing your caliper back in. Now, if you got one of these vice grip hookah doogas like I got, and I can do that part, just cut that top come back. I know he said cut it, but I'm going to show y'all this goddamn big-ass mosquito, man. For real, for real. Check him out. 
Brody came through here on prehistoric mode, man. You feel what I'm saying? Came in here on goddamn me Jurassic Park mode. Look this shit, man. I preserved them a little bit. Hold on. I preserved them a little bit. But that boy was. Look at that. How big that goddamn mosquito is, huh? Y'all tell me what, what species, what breed, I don't know, what family. I'm gonna have to send you that video, Vaughn, when, when that mosquito was alive and wasn't all cremated looking. So basically, we just keep on tightening down this with a little more pressure every time we go down. What kind of tool is that? That's what that is. This is like a C-clamp for welding, but I got this from my old man. It's called innovating. Working smart, not hard, I see, huh? See, it'll be super easy if I um backed up the, if I backed up the, uh, oh, no, nah, it's biting down on that boot. Mm-hmm. You see how it's shutting down? Yeah. It's closing as we, oh, yeah. I was trying to get that prepared. It closed all the way to the maximum tightness. Let me see. I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna close it all the way flush because them pads is asshole new. I'm bite down on that just a little bit more. Click on them. Y'all can kind of see as it closes. Yep, see how it closing? Slowly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. And this is the way, gang, I'm telling y'all, bro. It's a secret. You know, y'all can do y'all brakes, y'all damn self. That's how you bleed the brakes without having them. I mean, do the brakes without having to bleed them. You don't need no extra person. Or... That's water leaking down there? That's from the AC. He had the AC running. Mm -hmm. All right, so they basically all the way down as far as they go. Open these up. That's crazy, bro. I saw your eyes spot that drip as soon as I sp I spotted it. Then I saw your eyes lock on to it. I'm just gonna give it this extra little clamp with these big boys, just cause. Man, they flush. Now y'all don't try that at home. So now. listen to me now. Just, so since I did that, like I said, no bleed necessary. This nigga got bites for just Put the right back on, like it never left. Yeah, 93V got vice grip hands, man. They got, got, they got a nice clinch on that, on that grip, so y'all don't try that at home. Y'all make sure y'all got some leverage. I know I said you ain't got to bleed the brakes, gang, but what you do need to do is go in there before you take off, hit your uh, brakes a couple times. Now, he didn't buy them. That's the only reason I didn't put them on, but I recommend a new, uh, a new uh, rotor. So this one kind of grind up. These pads ain't gonna last too long. You know what I'm saying? You can see what it is. What it is. This is a little kid we knocking out. So when it's smooth, it make it a smoother stop, huh? When it's rough like that, it ain't catching all the way, huh? Well, when it's rough, it's just gonna eat up the pad. Oh, I get what you're saying. Like sandpaper on that bad boy. Yep. It's just gonna eat up the pad. That ain't no good at all. I do need... Down on here. Oh, no, like five, eight. oh, I'm tripping, V. I gotta go get to the. <laughs> I'm supposed to be showering and get ready for these tattoos, man. Do you do it, good, man? We almost wrapped up with this video, anyways, man. Look, so that was just simple as that. We just gotta bolt the wheel up, tighten up these two little screws in the back, and she and she ready to go. And my tune back in a little something after I get out the shower, man. <laughs>